Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. You guys saw kind of my brief Saturday morning routine. I could not sleep last night. I could not sleep at all. I don't even know if I slept. Like I think when I was sleeping, I was half awake, half asleep. You know when you're like partially conscious? My body and my eyes were exhausted and I so desperately wanted to sleep, but my brain wouldn't shut off. This happens to me the week before my period sometimes. I'll be so exhausted and so tired, but I just can't sleep. My heart starts like randomly racing. I don't know. I'm very tired today. Maybe I'm still recovering from reading for 24 hours in my last video. If you haven't seen that, please go watch it. I'm so excited for today's video because we're doing my spring coffee bar. I have never done a spring coffee bar. If you're new here, I have a very themed coffee bar in my kitchen. I always go all out for fall and for Christmas. I decorate the entire thing. I go intense. It is like my favorite thing to do in my house. I love decorating my coffee bar, but I've never done a spring theme before. I typically go from fall to Christmas and then I do a winter coffee bar, which I have right now. And then I just go into normal everyday life standard coffee bar. But I kind of just want to not have that. I don't even want that to be an option. I want it to always have a theme. I love a theme. I have a haul first to start this video. I went to HomeSense, not last weekend, but the weekend before possibly. And then I also ordered a bunch of stuff on Amazon. I'm so nervous and excited. I always put so much pressure on myself for these coffee bars because I want them to be so perfect. Like I'm gonna be looking at it for months. And my coffee bar is my favorite part of my house. It's fine, it always turns out. I don't need to stress myself out. Firstly, some things that I already own. This is like a little light up moon that Adriana got me. You cannot tell that, well, you can kind of tell that it lights up. And then I also have this orange cream bubble candle that I typically have on my desk. What's making it spring in my brain is just pastel colors. Flowers and pastel colors, that's the vibe, which is very not me. I mean, I love pastel colors, but I'm not a flower girl. I don't really like flowers that much. The first thing I'm gonna show you is literally flowers. <laughs> when I think of spring, what do I think of? And the first thing I thought of was pastels and tulips. They're just these fake tulips. They actually look really nice with a nice uh, neutral kind of concrete looking jar. No, these are perfect. These are actually, this is, this is perfect. These look real. I'm impressed with these. I feel like I could cut the stems. I was picturing small little flowers in jars, flowers just like laying on shelves, books. Why do these smell good? That doesn't make sense. Oh my God, it's so perfect. Look at this effing mushroom. It's just a little glass mushroom. Everything smells so good. Oh, maybe because of a candle I have in there, but I love her. I love her. God, everything smells so good. I love this. I don't know. It's kind of weird. <laughs> it looks like this handmade jar. It just looks very natural. Call this. I keep smelling everything. God, why do I do that? I don't know. This is something I could use year round too. This is not necessarily just a spring thing, but I was trying to look for vases or vases. Ah. Uh, I don't know if it's vases or vases. I put the flowers in. So I could put like two little tulips sticking out of here. I don't know, it's really cute. I like it. Oh, I got mugs. I collect them. I collect them. I collect mugs. I did get two of these. Oh, it's so cute. I'm obsessed with this color. I don't know if it's showing up on the screen properly. It's a light yellow green. It kind of just reminds me of like a little beehive, but it's a nice little bubble mug. It's really big. Is this green? It's like a super, super light acid wash pastel green, if that makes sense. I don't think that makes sense. This is so perfect. Look at this tea light holder. This reminds me of all the little Christmas houses. Look at the tulips. I can't even believe I found this. And you can put a little tea light in the back. I'm obsessed with this. I did get this English breakfast tea for this can. How good is this for the coffee bar? I get tea plus the tin, it's great. It has the little rabbit. He looks like the guy, the uh, rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. He looks like the Alice in Wonderland rabbit. This is the last thing from HomeSense? Yes. Can you guess what this is? That's what's making everything smell good. I almost didn't buy this because of the size of it. But I'm really glad I did because that smells damn delicious. It's so beautiful. I don't even want to ever burn it. Look at this effing candle. They're like pressed 
flowers. This is the most beautiful spring candle I've ever seen. It is the size of my head. Oh, shut up. It smells so good. Blooming Mandarin. Quick overview of all the home scent stuff. Let's drop that. Oh, this isn't even for my, <laughs> this is not even for the coffee bar. Oh, I'm obsessed with it, it's so cute. Okay, I'll show you guys this anyways. But uh, spoiler, I am gonna be putting up bookshelves. I have books all on the ground and it's really been stressing me out because I don't wanna damage them and I should probably get some shelves. But I don't like bookshelves. I don't know what it is. A Billy bookcase makes me cringe. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know why. So I went on Amazon and I ordered this like weird wonky bookcase. We'll see. I might hate it. <laughs> I saw this on Amazon and thought it would be so effing cute to put as like little decor on the bookcase. And I love anything chrome. Wow, this is so adorable. <gasps> Look at this. It's this little reading statue. It's a little girly crossing her legs reading a book. It's not like the best quality. Like don't look too close. Why do I have to fight you? How cute. That's so cute. <laughs> Can you see them? Because I'm not tilting this any further. I have like heart palpitations right now. These are the most spring thing I have ever seen. They're little mushroom vases. So there's holes in the top so you can stick little flowers in. I will link all of this on my Amazon storefront, don't you fret. I'm sure you guys have seen these on TikTok or something. I don't even know how to explain it. Storage crates, little baby pastel storage crates. So I was thinking, because I typically don't actually have my Nespresso pods on my coffee bar, but I was thinking I could use these, these are really tiny, and put a couple of flavors on the coffee bar. This is gonna hold a decent amount. It might even hold a whole sleeve. And then you, you can like pick your flavor. I don't have many skills, but one of my skills is making themed coffee bars. Put it on my resume. Are these more vases? They are. There's three little vases in here. They're all different sizes, but they're this pale green, a taller one, a little round one. I know what this is. It's not spring theme. I might just keep this in my office, honestly. You know when you're on Amazon and it just starts recommending things you might like? Always gets me. The quality of this is a lot lower than I was hoping but you put, just put a little tea light in it. The proportions also seem off. I swear the cat to dish ratio was different in the picture. No effort was put into this, the painting job of this. <laughs> Good things start with meeting the light. Okay. He's warming his paws on the flame. I don't know. The color of this edge, the butter yellow got me. That is so effing cute. It just goes so well with everything. It literally smells like throw up. It goes so well. I need to go put all my winter stuff away. I need to collect some books and then we are gonna get started. These items here were on the winter coffee bar and I feel like they could still go or they could at least be year round. Plus I also have these all sorts and I also have these assorted fudge. These are right from Scotland. Maddie actually brought these for me. Plus all the new stuff. I did get some books. How perfect is this original copy of Little Women? This is perfect. And then the other books I grabbed, I just kind of grabbed some that were similar in color. This one, it's like the exact same color as the mugs. This is just like a nice plain blue book. This one's the star of the show for sure. I am so excited, it's time to do the shelves. You did that, yeah you crossed the line about a thousand times and I did that. Yeah I stayed a while, tried to make it right. Cigarette, no I never smoked but my heart is broke, explosive. 
Stressing for that old thing back, back, back. That initial love, yeah. all the goosebumps, those factors in my gut. As per usual, I'm mid mental breakdown because what the hell? I always have a mental breakdown though. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> I have to go through my few mental breakdown phases and then we get to something cute. I don't know. I love the addition of these books. I think I just need more books. Maybe? Cause I need some more different heights. This is all a straight line, which is really bothering me. I don't know what to do with these. They look so cute as a bunch, but I think I need to separate them so I can use more individual flowers. Same with the yellow ones. I wish I got chocolate eggs, the little pastel chocolate eggies so I could fill this up. Don't look at my thumb. No, this being one height, it, that is an absolute no. Just a love bomb. Really wish it didn't push me away. I was willing to try long as it takes. I would never say we were a mistake, but I found in the basement these guys, and then I was looking for my candlesticks, my black ones. I have plain black modern looking candle holders. Could not find them. The only ones I could find are the ones I use on my fall coffee bar, which would have been perfectly fine if the wax, it's melted into the candlestick, which I'm sure I can break it off, but it looks so cool and spooky that I don't really want to ruin it because this is kind of perfect for my spooky Halloween coffee bar. This one, the candle did break out of this one. So I don't know if it's weird to just use one. My winter coffee bar was just so well balanced. This just feels very random. I'm actually kind of happy with the, how the tulips over here are looking. I like these three heights. So there's three taller items. Something is still unbalanced. Obviously I need something in the middle there. Like, does that look effing stupid by itself? Do you need two candles? I'm not gonna put it right in the middle front and center like that, but having one isn't bad. We were doing so well, and then we had a casualty. My favorite mushroom, that candle, I was trying to put it up there so there would be another one, and it hit the green mushroom and he smashed. It's been a few hours. I have been sitting with it, staring at it. I think I love it, but I wanted to show you the final reveal. I actually just booked a nail appointment, so I need to go, because I can't. I can't exist with my thumb being like this anymore and I need to get my nails a little bit shorter because they're a little bit too long for me. Aw, it already brightens up the kitchen just with the colors. I don't usually have so many colors going on over there. I actually really love the pastels. Firstly, I did add some of the flowers. I love this, this is my normal setup. I don't like how I just have this one tray here, but I, did, I didn't know where else to put it and I need the green one. Here's our next shelf. The Monet book brought everything together. I have had those stackable books for so long. I have two up there, two down here. Honestly, I was debating taking one of these ones and moving it up here so that this has a little bit more height, but that seems like a lot of work for today. So maybe another day I'll do that. I have my cute little mugs, my one candle, my book stack. And I like kind of a messy, overwhelming look. So if you guys are like that, there's too much going on. I, I like that. I like when it's kind of busy. If you've seen any of my coffee bars, you know this. I think adding the tulips all throughout, just complete it. Like it looks so casual yet put together. So I do need to add pods to all of these and fill up that one as well. Maybe it'll look better when it's full of pods. I have my little tulips in my vase. This guy front and center, the white, I needed the white because it kind of pulls from the other little white. It seems balanced to me. 
Then my flowers seem balanced. The only thing that's a little bit unbalanced in my brain is this corner here. Seems like there's missing something up here just because that mirror is so tall. But I don't know if I'm just being super nitpicky, but I'm gonna leave it for now. We'll see. I have my little, little mushroom up there, my jar, my giant mushroom front and center, of course. I like this little stack of books and my candle. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Do we love it? I kind of love it. I kind of love it. I'm not going to lie. I really need to leave right this moment to go get to my nail appointment. So I'll show you my nails when we're done. We're going to do a nail transition. Ready? <laughs> this light pink. This is very different for me. I'm not typically a light pink nail girl. I usually go for super, super pigmented colors. Like the blue that I had, that was one of my favorite blues I've ever had. One of my favorite nail colors I've ever had. Just a very, very strong pigmented color. That's what I typically like, but I have some traveling coming up and I, I kind of like them. They're growing on me. I wanted a sluttier pink. <laughs> The place I go to, there's not a lot of options for dip. So this was the pinkest pink that they possibly had. But when I walked in my door, like the mirror is just, it's a little bit too tall. Like I just, do I put it down there? I don't know. Cause I do like the mirror and I love the yellow. I'm gonna have to sit with it and I'll update you guys.